Brooks. Is 602. Uh, call to order. Change, any changes to the agenda, team? Um, I do want to give an update on the project we have Donna working on, the grants project. Okay, great. Um, the warrants are, the orders are circulating. That, that's just an update that we'll meetings. do somewhere. Yeah. Um, warrants are circulating. Uh, I think we... I'd like to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters. Is there a motion to go into executive session under 1 DSA 313? So moved. A. Second. Three. All right. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. It oh, is. It is. You're ready to go. Okay. So okay. Um, we're back in. We came out of executive session at 6.57. 6.57, yeah. nothing to report. Uh, we, have, we have nothing to report. Okay. Um, do, <coughs> or we already did our changes to the agenda, and right. the warrants have circulated or have circulated. Um, I want to do a grants update at some point. Okay, uh, let me ask if there are any items of public comment for topics not on the agenda. Can I make a comment? I'm looking at the public. No. Okay. Uh, you have something you want to say? Yep. I'd like to um, announce that I am going to run for town clerk. And um, I hadn't made up my mind until you know I saw that Jeremy wasn't running. And I feel like I can help and serve my community in a new role and in a new effort. And I'm going to resign my position as select board at the end of the meeting tonight. Okay. Okay, Denise, thank you. Thanks for running, Denise. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. So just so you know, Jeremy, Jeremy has decided, Jeremy Weiss, our current town clerk, has decided not to run again for his office. Um, he's filling out Judy's term, last two years of it. Right. It's a three-year position, and um, so Denise is uh, plans is to run for uh, for that office. Right. It's a, a, a and new, resign at the same time from the select board. It's a new three-year term, <coughs> so it would be twenty twenty-six, right? Yep. So I'm looking forward to working in the office and putting my skills to a new use. It's very exciting. Learning new things is really Learning exciting. Learning new things. I won't get Alzheimer's, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Denise, thank you. Yep. And congratulations. Thank it's you. Exciting and hard decision. It's a hard, it was, it was an agonizing decision, an agonizing decision. Um, so, but I had good support. Well, now you can move on to the next. Right, next phase. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have, the next item is uh, to ratify the signing of the Lister's Errors and Omissions Report. So this is a document that we, um, because we had a really tight timeline, we signed it last, last meeting, meeting mm -hmm. even though we didn't warn it. And we are now going to just make the motion to formally accept the report and um, the form. The form. Yep. And... Uh, make the motion to, I guess, make the motion to accept it, noting that we've already signed. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Um, <coughs> any questions or conversation? No. John? Absolutely. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. And now it is 7.04. Can I give an update? Yes. This is, yeah, we um, have, um, Wendy's calling at 7.15? Right. Okay. And so this won't take long. Yep, go ahead. Um, you'll remember we approved Donna to work on Great. the projects of organizing the grants, doing making a spreadsheet, blah, blah, blah. I met with her today because I know Rick's been busy, but you are going to have to go in and we're going to have to find a time when you to can, maybe some evening even, after work. Um, she started on the project. I'm going to feed her some more information. Um, I need. She's going to call Sandra. She's probably going to talk to Wendy. Mm -hmm. Um, so she'll 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 run with it and she'll do a great job. That's great. That yeah. is great. Yeah. 
she's really excited about doing it too, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Does she have like is does she have like the ECCT grant that I've been pushing buttons for? We got all that stuff. All of it's on her radar. Right. So. Well, as much as I could think of, I'm going through stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Some grants may be over, and she doesn't need to put them on a spreadsheet. Right. But the idea we talked about was, you know, the grant. They always just give you like this, this number of a grant, and you got to go five or six pages yeah, in to is. find out what it is. So she's going to start out with the name of the project, them. Yeah. and then the grant number. She'll, you know, she's going to do like a separate tab for highway, separate tab yeah. for like the CLG, a separate tab for ECCT, mm -hmm. so that it's easy to access. Good, good, good. And yeah. you know, put in like you know how much it's for, what's the town's match. Um, critical deadline critical points. deadlines you know that kind of stuff that all makes I said you know just make it doesn't have to be you know really confusing just keep it as simple as possible but with the information you actually have. right yeah. right so she's she's running with it that's a really good project yeah organizing okay thank you Denise yep um, okay, so now we need to move on to town meeting. I did not print out the warning. I printed the report. Well, did you print I, the warning form? I got the warning here. It's probably, um, I did with my computer. It's on the... Do you have, did you read paper for us? Or just one copy? I didn't. I only brought my copy because I think okay. it's in the drive. It's in the folder. I meant to go look and print it out and I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Turn this on. Come on. Um, and I can't... We gotta make we gotta finalize the numbers tonight as we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we need we need to have language, and this is something that when I we find when we get to the point where we want Joe to review it, I can send it to him and um, about the reserve fund for the planning commission, the creation. Right. And Joe can give us that language, and then it'll be right. Um, or we can look back in a previous town report and get the language. Town meeting 23. Um, I took out, because... Hang on, let me, let us... Oh, you're not there? Okay. No, no, I had to sign in. Let's see which way Where is it? Oh, right here, right here. Just make sure, yeah, one nine. This one right here. Here? Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our warning. And after we got done with our meeting last time, I went in and wrote in the numbers, but I'm not sure that those are right now. Um, Barbara, <laughs> right. thank Barbara, thank you, and Wendy. They double checked the social services. Hang um, on, Denise. It's the January 9th version. Yep. Draft one nine. I think that has John's name on it. Um, it's called, so the title, there's several versions of the warning in here. There's one, there's one that's... Do you want to go back? Yeah, go back, because there was one that you could click on that was supposed to be the ninth. Yeah, this one it says... It's Kellis Warning 2023 Annual Meeting. Last Draft Modified one. by John. Is that the right one? Oh, it was John. John Brayman over well, John here. Well, John might have made an edit. Yeah. Did you, add, did you make a change in the warning, John? Uh, today? No, um, no. You might have in the like past, deleted. Like, in the past, I did the, the section that dealt with the horses. No, no that's that's <laughs> not the warning. That's the select board report. report. Oh, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, maybe well, you might have deleted a space or something. Yeah. Okay, um, so that should be the right one, Rick. Okay, mm -hmm. so all right, so I got it open you, now. Can you, you want to? Yeah, that's you got good. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so notably. Um, what we all know from email, but I'll say out loud for whoever, anybody who cares, mm -hmm. we've talked about we've talked about the format for town meeting. Right. First, we said we um, we don't have an option to do it virtually, so That's we're going to do it in person. Then we heard no, they're fast tracking legislation to do it virtually, and we heard through Denise that there was some interest in doing it. Um, virtually for safety reasons right and then we've heard the pendulum has swung back that there's no way that legislation is going to get through so we're in, there's no way it's going to need to happen by the 15th that's what the latest report oh, is. really yeah yeah okay so we are so it's in person right, it's going to be in person on Tuesday March 7th at the 
Callis Cal Cal Elementary School. And what time, Barbara? 9.30? 9.30 to completion is the way it's been stated in years past. Okay, and I think... You better write that down. Um, when I was in the office today, Barbara noted that, um, and even Donna said, you know, let's not worry about lunch. And you said that they're not available anyways, right? I had contacted Historic Kids Corner folks a month or so ago to ask what their plans were, mm -hmm. and they could not commit at that time, and it sounded like they were not inclined. Um, this is my perception, mm -hmm. they, that they were not inclined to do that, but, and I have not gone back to them since then. Yeah, I think we should just for, it's another way to cut down on the crowd, with everybody standing in line, mm -hmm. talking. The school has, you know, the gym's pretty big to spread out chairs. Um, Barbara, would you like some notes? Um, okay, so going through this, so I've added 9.30 to completion, and it's Tuesday, March 7th. Um, I have the new, I have the blanks to fill in for the Article 3, um, and to update the people that are running. And cemetery budget should be 49.5, not 42.5 on Article 4. Kellogg Hubbard, we know that amount. Article 6, the total of the special appropriations request is 31,100. Mm -hmm. um, we need to create the language and I can look at an old town report for a reserve fund language. The only, I have not calculated when the second, when the tax bill the dates on the tax bill stuff. So we need to do that. Um, I took out the grace period language that we agreed to take out for payments. Right? We agreed to that a couple meetings ago. We didn't. We didn't <coughs> vote on it. We listened to the argument. Do we need to vote on it? No. Yeah. We just need to say out loud. Yeah, no, I the vote, but just shut. Right. So I took that out because I think we all agreed to that. Um, <clears throat> so let, let me just get clear on that. So taxes are due when they're due. End of discussion. That's right. Right. And postmark counts. Postmark counts, but there's no grace period. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody could option from the floor that we put that back in. We so, you know, there's always that. We should be prepared for that. Right. Um, I was trying to look back at the old, some old drafts and see what we had. Um, 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 I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. We have the um, fire departments, their dollar amounts filled in. And... And we are expecting a petition from Curtis Pond Association? Yes. So that will have to go on here, too. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put a placeholder in here while I'm here? Yeah, could you put in, I don't know where to, where we want to put to it. Article 17. I might as well make it Article 17. Oh, you're doing it, too? No, Sharon's doing just, it. Okay. I'm just yeah. coming down here. And I noticed that on other warnings, we didn't have on there to adjourn, but it seems like it should say that. It says adjourn. Yeah, it's because I put it in there. Oh. <laughs> okay. <coughs> yeah. When do they have to get us their petition, Barbara? When does Curtis Pond have to get our get the petition? They, it, they have to have a valid petition to the town front by the 19th. By the 19th. 19th. Oh, okay. That's for warning articles. Okay, that's for warning articles. Days. Running for office is the 30th. It's the 30th. Right. Mm -hmm. Barbara did a great job last night explaining all the different. Mm -hmm. She Thank got you. it down. She got it down. So I, so. Okay, you need to explain. Barbara did a great job explaining what, Explaining where, all the different positions, the fire. Where. Oh, where did we, there was a meeting last okay. night um, at the Maple Corner Community Center that was open to the public and I went. And it was all about, you know, vacant positions, and Barbara did a great job explaining about when you have to have a petition filed. If there's an error, 
They're due on the 30th, but if there's an error, they find out the next day because the town clerk has to check to make sure the signatures are actually valid registered voters mm -hmm. and callous, correct? Mm -hmm. And then they have until... Then they have another additional 24 hours after that to cure their petition. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, so the oh, final really? submission is the 30th. Okay. The town clerk lets them know by the 31st if their petition and all their paperwork is acceptable or not. They have 24 hours, so February 1st is the absolute, because then the ballots go to print on That's February it. 2nd. Right, and Barbara was, you know, explained about the consent form, about the petition, how many signatures you have to get, so she, she's got it down. Well, and I'm glad to hear that because I was assuming but also wondering um, whether the Curtis Pond folks are like overrunning their signatures. I would they're assume. trying to. I would assume yeah. so. Yeah, they're trying they're, to. They're, That's they're, a safe thing to do. They're yeah. veterans. Yeah. Barbara wants to comment. May I add something? Uh huh. So um, the town office has also prepared a meet the candidates form. Well, no, it's not really a form, it's a memo to candidates asking them to provide a 250 word statement as to why they're running, why they want to hold that office, what contributions they could make to it, Great. and a headshot. And we're going to compile all of that and print it out, really? uh, hard copy, have it distributed at the four corners around Alice, post it to the Park Forum, and on the website. <coughs> so it'll be the opportunity for voters to meet the candidates in their own words. Oh, right, and then great. are we going to include our personal email addresses in case somebody wants to How, contact? However you want to, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And phone number. Yeah, because in recent elections, the town office has gotten a lot of phone calls saying, who are these people on the ballot? I don't even know them. So we're going to try to fix that. That's great. 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 And so if when, they see the face, they'll know it when they see it. Right. I've seen that person around town. Right. So right. this that's will a good be an opportunity to try to encourage people to vote for them. Yeah, right. that's great. So Wendy should be contacting us any minute. So are we good on the morning if I go back and fill in some of this stuff? And then we're gonna. And then we'll have to. We won't be able. To, we'll have to vote on it on um, our meeting on the twenty third because Curtis Pond Dam Association petition. That's their deadline. So. Okay. And we have to finalize our numbers with Wendy. Right. Though. Right. Okay. Makes sense. I need to get this away from me. I know exactly what I said, and I've had two servings. Somebody else's turn. Um, oh, I don't know. Barbara's here. Okay, so and then, and so once we finalize the figures with Wendy, can I just say something about that? Yeah. Um, so we voted on the budget and the other night, a week ago. Yeah, it was a Tuesday night. regular meeting. No, it was a regular meeting. Was it Monday that we voted on the budget? Okay. Um, and then... There she is. Right on time. We made, we made some changes that we thought were going to affect the overall numbers, but when Wendy, when we said it to Wendy, what Hi, Wendy. we got back from her was slightly different than what we thought and what we there, had formally approved. So. I am. Oh, good. Wendy, Wendy, thank you. Thank you. Hi. So How Wendy, you? Wendy Wilton is here. Uh, Wendy works for Nemrick and has been contracted with us to uh, support us performing some treasure function. Wendy, thank you. And you've been the the strong ma the mastermind behind getting our proposed budget together. And I was just explaining that even though we voted on it last week, when you sent it back, it had some. Um, and we're working on an Excel, Excel spreadsheet with like cell formulas, so no surprise that Wendy's fine tooth oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. comb Sorry. sharp pencil found some discrepancy, and I asked her to join us to. Um, or Denise asked, and we both did to mm -hmm. to explain why her bottom line was twenty thousand less, right, than ours. Okay. That's why you're here. Just go, to this. Yep. Hold on, I go ahead. Um, I just sent uh, Karen. I just sent you um, a little spreadsheet because I did that analysis. Okay. 
and it was really easy to find this stuff. Um, the bottom line is the budget that I sent you on the 11th is correct. And the okay. differences, and the differences, yep. okay, here's the email. <clears throat> so, so you should have, for your budget approval, your general fund should be $581,987. Now, did you, Wendy, did you send the email to all of us? Just to me. Uh, so let me. Uh, the differences between the two spreadsheets I sent just to you. Yep, I'm going to send it to everybody right now. Okay. okay, we can talk about that in a second, but I want to make sure you guys know what the accurate numbers are first, right? so if you need a motion to cover yeah. what happened on the dime, yeah, that's not the yeah. Okay. Yes. So general fund is 581987. January 10th. Wait a minute, we're playing, we're, 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 we're playing catch up. 983102. Okay, wait a minute, can you, can you... Give, give us a second, Wendy. We're trying to play catch up. Sharon's emailing something to us. So yeah, okay. I did. I had sent okay. So what is the? There it is. What is the total general fund and highway fund figure? One million. Yeah. Five sixty-five. Yeah. Zero nine zero. Okay, that's what I had. Uh huh. And that's what you have in what I sent you, Denise, mm -hmm. for the article. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. And the differences arise because. I can explain. Um, okay, wait a minute. Before you do that, can we just go back to the amount that has to be raised by taxes and non tax revenue to make sure I have those numbers right? Yeah. So the total between the um, the general fund, the highway, and the warrant articles yeah. is one point nine five six six forty five. So that's one million nine hundred fifty six thousand six hundred forty five. Our estimated non tax revenues mm -hmm. are three hundred and nineteen seven one seven. Okay. So three hundred nineteen thousand seven. $117. Yep. The net amount to raise in taxes is $1,636,928. Okay. $1,636,928. Okay, and not the... So the overall budget that we're approving is one one million nine hundred fifty six thousand six hundred and forty five dollars and that is comprised of i think when we voted it last week we well you aren't approving a budget with the articles are you no because those get voted on correct you're but approving one million five sixty five zero eight nine zero eight nine or nine zero um i think i i rounded it up it, it, it was nine zero i think what i gave you Hang on a second. You're, you're right. We approve. We approve the. And that's what we approved on the, last week. And we right. when we approved it, Wendy. So yeah. So I didn't write down the what we need so we can revote is the general fund number plus the, highway, right? The highway number and the general and the combined because I think when uh -huh. we voted the whole thing we mentioned the sub pieces okay yeah. so yeah so we need the the voters shall that's where i thought you ought to start because i can explain those differences primarily they are three things when you uh pass the numbers on the ninth i hadn't had a chance to recalculate the shift of the benefits and the payroll tax from general funds to highway for the dpw director and in that spreadsheet <laughs> i sent you i should have <coughs> Right, but that doesn't affect then, the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Right, doesn't affect the bottom line. On the tenth, I told you that the server loan is it will be completely paid off this April. Right. So it doesn't even impact the, the 24. So that's a little over six thousand dollars. 
Okay, and so and we we the heard that in front of you on the night had um, your cemetery in at um, it was in at forty two five and it's forty nine five. No, it's at sixty nine. It's at here at sixty two five. Sixty two, you think you? Yeah. Sixty two five. Have the twenty thousand right. forty two five base budget for the cemetery right. plus twenty thousand expenses. Right, and it's back so down to the forty nine five. And that's the thirteen thousand. So if you add thirteen plus sixty three hundred and change, mm -hmm. you get your nineteen thousand dollars difference. So that's where the diff that's where the difference was. Right. I thought we'd yeah. taken out the server, but I guess we hadn't. Okay, so all right, so that so give us the three numbers. Give Okay, okay give wait a minute. Karen, yeah. you have the three numbers in the spreadsheet. They're right. Take, Total. Take, open it up, take a look at it, I'll guide you. So, or you've all got it, I'll guide you. Yeah, oh, I have. Um, Total okay, highway should right. be 983-102. Okay, no, right? three well, well, yeah, but it doesn't, get, it doesn't get broken down in that way for the warning. The, well, the warning is general fund and highway fund together. Right, right, but what we voted on last week was, it was like this. We said, we recommend, we make a motion to recommend to the voters or something like that. Of to a combined budget of general fund and highway of one million five hundred sixty-five thousand and ninety dollars, comprised of uh, a highway budget of nine hundred eighty-three thousand one hundred and two dollars, and a general fund budget of five hundred eighty-one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven dollars. Correct. That's the motion. That's correct. And if you look at the spreadsheet showing the difference between Sharon's spreadsheet and my update, which is the final. Yep. You'll see all those numbers there. You see total general funds, mm -hmm. yep. second right. column of numbers. Yep, and that's and, and total general funds. And that's where that's where line I just five and line read them. Yeah, five eighty one nine eighty seven general highway nine eight three one zero two. And they combine to. Do you have that number, Denise? One five six five zero nine zero. One five. Yeah, I got that. Okay, so is there a motion to present to the voters a a budget of one million five hundred and sixty-five thousand ninety dollars. Uh, actually, why don't we first hang on? Stop. Is there a motion motion to rescind the vote from last week on that budget? So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor, please. Wait, right, right. wait, wait, wait. John Rick to rescind last week's vote. Budget vote. Yep. Unless somebody think we're giving them too low, too much. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, is there a motion to approve an overall town budget, i.e., general fund and highway, of one million five hundred sixty-five thousand and ninety dollars, comprised of general fund budget five eighty-one nine eighty-seven, and highway budget of nine eighty-three one zero two? So, so second. Okay. Any um, questions? Denise got it. Rick. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. So that is done. And then, okay, but okay. Now for the warning, we need to know. Okay, we got the total budget one million five sixty five zero nine zero, of which, what um what amount shall be raised by taxes, and what is non tax revenue? Do we do you is that on this spreadsheet? Of which. Wendy? I wrote that down when Wendy said it, of which 1,636,928 okay, is so raised sure I had by that. taxes. Do we have to vote on that too? No, we just have to vote. When we do the warning, we'll we vote. Get it right. We have to get it right. Okay. Well, wait a minute. There's two, there's two different raised by taxes things here. The one that I just feel wrong with you was, the, was what it looks like if all the articles are voted on. <clears throat> But I think your Article 3 oh. really focuses on general funding right. highway. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. And, so, Janice, I sent you the wording on that. Yes, yeah, so, somewhere. Yep, yep I'll I went find it. Down through the articles. Yep, you checked um, them all. And I sent it as a draft to you with the cemetery budget and stuff. Okay. So, I think you have it, but memory serves me. Look. Hang on. I think, Denise, that we... Oh, I see it. I see it for the warning. I've got it right here in an email that I printed out. So, I, probably, I, didn't, I don't think I brought that email with me tonight, Wendy. What? Um, you know what? I will make sure I'll scan it. 
and I'll email it all to you tonight. But here are the numbers for the okay. Article 3. Okay. You have your total of 1,565,090. 090. Right. And the non tax revenue is the 319,717, which okay. are your estimated non tax revenues. Right. Yeah, that's the number I have. So the amount raised by taxes for general fund and highway is the difference between those two, which right. is 1245372 Yeah, that's the number I had from last week. Yeah. Somehow. Right. And I th and I think that I think I got that from what you had sent me. Yeah, she sent right. it on the tenth, and then when I right. looked at it over the weekend I was confused, which is why we're And I'll scan it right now and send it to you all by email. Yeah, okay. So I had the I had the right number, so that's good. Yep. Okay. Because in our calculation for the total tax rate, we took the total including the articles, right, to be voted on. Right, we have reduced that by the three nineteen three hundred nineteen thousand to come up with a tax rate estimate. Right, because the, the spread... What is your article just on your general fund and highway budget spending reduced by the revenue? Right. And the other was an estimated tax rate if everything gets voted on. Right, yeah, I have that spreadsheet. Hang on, yeah. hang on. Let me, let me get clear on this. The article reads, shall the voters approve total general fund and highway fund expenditures of... That's the number we just. That's the one that's five six five zero nine zero that we mm -hmm. just voted on, right? Right. And then of which one million two forty five three seventy two shall be raised by taxes, and three nineteen seven one seven non tax revenue. What was the one that needs to be raised by taxes? One two four five three seven two. And that's the difference between the three nineteen seven nine seven seventeen is the difference between the total to be raised by taxes and the and the total combined budget. Sorry, I fucked it up. No, you didn't. Okay, there we go. Let's figure it out. You're just not. Okay. Is that, are we good on that? So yeah. we just so we just approved the numbers that are here. And, and are in the warning. And the overall is the so, overall. Um, well, the increase. So the increase over last year is over. The overall increase is about six. Six percent. Is it exactly six percent, or is it the one um, the ninth? The one from the ninth was five right. five point seven. I can actually take a look based on this. Um, this is this year. says this says six point five. And or with my update, the actual increase for general fund and highway is five point seven percent. Five rounded it up to six. Okay. So it's five point seven. Okay. So so when, okay. So that answers one of my questions in earlier email. Is that 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 twenty thousand difference doesn't make an, a difference in. It doesn't change. Five point. Mine was also five right. point. So the only the only seven. change you had on your general fund and highway, really, was dropping off the server. Right. 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 So right. Six grand and change. Right. Yeah. So so the percentage uh -huh. difference is still five point seven, which is what we said last week. Yeah. We're going up and five point seven. In your um in your spreadsheet, Sharon, you had a difference of. 7%, but when we took out the server, it dropped it down to 6, okay? Right. 5.7, you know, pretty close. Right. Um, okay, and so just for just for fun, when I was doing all, looking at all this yesterday, I went out to see if the Bureau of Labor Statistics had um, posted the CPI for December, and they have. Oh, they have. Yep, yeah, it was. So we were working from end of November, which I'm not suggesting we should change, um, of 6.4 as the rolling 12 month ending in November, and that's where we got our number mm -hmm. to budget. For the budget. Um, yeah. You know, just to be aware of what increases are, and our so the end of the year December number was 6.1. So either way, we're coming in at 5.7, so we've actually are slightly under CPI for whatever that's worth mm -hmm. to 
the people mm -hmm. out there. The people well, that the other thing to make note of too is that the total budget, the budget for um, general fund highway plus the word articles because you reduce your um, uh, cemetery by 20 grand. Mm -hmm. well, they um, did, they did they that we are giving them their request right yeah no I know okay but I said you I mean the town yeah yeah okay um, the total on the one million nine hundred fifty six thousand budget between general fund highway and the articles actually is increasing by four mm percent -hmm. so the overall impact because I'm assuming the voters are going to vote for all those articles right so if it wasn't at the end be a four percent increase over yeah that. so. If the if not if it wasn't for the special articles cemetery library all those, the budget increase would be four point three percent. No, the opposite. If if it, if you weren't even thinking about the special articles and the cemetery, it would be five point seven. But because right. thank you cemetery commission, they had a one time expense last year that, that they're that, taking out. Right. The, the and expense. so that knocks the when you add them in. Right. This year, it tells um, a different, an even better story. Yeah, and I did double check with Juanita to make sure that we got the right figure and that they, and she that's said yes. What, yeah, that's what they want. That's great. That's great. That's everybody doing their part. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we got what we needed last year. We don't need to come back again. And right. Great. Perfect. All right. So, so even though their base budget for the cemetery went up for twenty four because they didn't have that twenty thousand in. It's a reduction of $13,000. Yeah. Okay, now, did you send, does the printer have what they need to format? I was going to ask, ask if I could ask a question. Yeah, sure. So, hey, Wendy, it's Barbara. Hey, so Barbara. I, th I think what I understand, would you please confirm that all the financial files that you sent to the graphic designer were correct, right? Correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. We just Good question. we our vote our vote did not support them. Okay, so now it does. Right. Okay. Do uh, we vote? Do we vote? We never voted, right? Yeah, we, we did. did vote. We did vote. Do you want to vote? We still say aye. I thought we. Aye, aye, Rick. Aye, aye. All right. So where are we? Where's On the re agenda? annual report. Okay, so we've done the we did the warning. We're going to vote on that next week. Uh, we understand the numbers and why they changed from our vote last week. Wendy, I think, are we done with Wendy? Yeah, we're done. Wendy, thank uh, you. I think you are, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wendy, are you coming in the office this week? Uh, I'd like to. Um, I just have to figure out which day based on uh, the schedule. Okay. And um, I would like to come in the office and print W2s. Okay. And 1099. Oh yes, ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine yep. season. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Wendy. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Have a good night. You guys are on your way. Thanks, Wendy. Love you, Wendy. Can I give these? Love you, Wendy. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys are happy. All right. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Okay. Report. There's paper here. If people want it. It's in the folder. Um. I I think we've all except yeah we've all. Pretty much all touched it. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, Barbara. We have an opening section that says, you know, blah blah. Um, mm -hmm. No, I should be more articulate than that. We it, just need to remember to take. Well, we got to send it to Barbara, so I'm sure she'll yeah. read it. I I want to as long. I'm assuming everybody who's been in has kind of read it. Here's a couple mm -hmm. of things that I left flagged to we obviously I have to update the numbers and I will do that um, and the pie yeah um, let me open my electronic version of it I wanted to talk about Denise did you look at the Thank well actually Barbara. well let's get there so uh, we and Tony, <laughs> bye Barbara, thank you. Bye Barbara, thanks thank a lot. Um, we anticipate that next week we will take a couple of votes. So let's just Sh check. Yeah. Shade, shade tree and something well, else. Well, the shade tree plan 
and the the generator coming the the oh, generator is coming from ARPA. Oh, that's right. I got to fill in that amount. I will do that. And the fifteen thousand to the conservation commission to fund work on invasive species. That's right. how I just yeah. We need to do that. The invasives and the shade, shade tree. tree. But let's yeah. wait for John to get back yeah. so everybody's on the same page here. Um, and I, I thought it was important to put in the <coughs> increases that we gave over last year. I agree with that, but I want that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. And let's John will have an opinion too, so let's just wait. I don't care how to word it, I just want Yeah, no no yeah. no. No, but here's so Denise, I so the topic is this bullet approved and increased cost of living for the following employees and elected officials. Um, I, I struck that one line as approved by the voters because we always say that we reserve the right, of course, to recognize oh, okay. that what we're doing is making yeah. a budget. We That's are fine. not, right, we actually ran into that with one person this right. year. The voters approved mm -hmm. an increase and you didn't give it to me. You, that's absolutely correct. And we don't have to and we're not going to. Yeah, no, it's fine. So okay. how do we change that line? We just strike that line. We just, we just take out that word. It's no big yeah, deal. I just wondered if anybody felt strongly about it. No, no. oh, I good. see, I see. No, I just wanted. They were granted the increase, but it wasn't by. Not by the voters. As approved by select No, the, the, vo right. the voters approved the budget. The select board has the ability to give the increase up to what was budgeted or not. Right, mm -hmm. so we approved an increase and we just leave it right. there. Yeah. And, right. and we want to list the crew. I'm ambivalent about that, but people... It's public knowledge. Yeah, that's... Public information. Well, and actually it gives them a place to say, oh, that's who our crew is. Yeah. Um, and, okay, so we'll make that one change there. Yeah. And then, John, we were starting to talk about earlier under this second bullet. Arpa. The ARPA funds. So we anticipate that next week we will. So we t when we approve the generators, um, we t that Nick was here to talk about. We, yeah, we I've got the figures at home. Yeah, we talked about. So so we talked about so who who pays for them, and then we have to do a town match. It's um. 50 /50. Is it? It's like federal FEMA. money. It's, it's federal money that's come to the state. It's, it's a FEMA. FEMA. It it's comes a FEMA, through FEMA, grant. right? And we have to do a match. And there was a conversation that night about, oh, we could even match it from ARPA, but we didn't vote it that way. No, we didn't vote. You're right. So, so we thought, well, do we want to vote it that way? So that we're, it was like sixteen thousand or so. Yeah, it was something like that. I've something got it like that. So we could bring it tonight. But this is a this is the sense of the group because we need to finalize this report in anticipation right. of a vote next week. Um, right. So we need to put that figure in, and we need to make sure everybody's going to be okay with that next week and not have this out there that we're not going to vote for. Right. And then yeah. the other thing is um, when and, we were developing the budget. Yeah, when when we were developing the budget, the conservation commission had requested fifteen thousand to work on invasive species, and we said, "Hey, hang on, we can um, take that from ARPA," and so right. that is something we can formally vote on next week. Yeah. Okay. But we can put it in the report. We can put it in the report. Yeah. I just want to make sure that everybody no, I think we're is inclined to vote page. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then the third thing is the shade tree plan that we haven't voted, but we have an email from Neil that he and Dan have worked out their differences. Mm -hmm. Do we have a new one, or did they just? He was going to send it to us. I don't know that he ever did. I'll bug him because yeah, if he um, we need the new plan because we need to post it. Right. Um, okay. So then, um, I questioned. Denise says we did it. We increased roadside mowing to three times a year. Did we actually mow three times this year? Does well, everybody think we did? I don't know if we got, I can't answer that right up. I, I think we, know. I know we increased it. I know we did. Okay. Yeah, they just, how, about just we, how about, how about we increase? Don't have to say, well, how, we don't have to say the number, we can just say increase. Beyond twice a year. Increase roadside mowing. Yeah, just say that. Period, to help. Which, where's that bullet? Mm, bottom of page three. Well, I know they were still mowing in the fall. They were. Dana yeah. was mowing. Yeah. No, that's a good thing. Yeah, we can just say we can Why just don't say, we say increased roadside mowing from spring to fall. From spring to fall. Yeah. Okay. 
Hang on, I'm just gonna go ahead and make these changes right now. You are? Okay. Yeah, that works well for us. Okay, increase roadside mowing from spring to fall to help reduce. I will remove the comments. Um, okay, and then what else did we want to talk about? Um, technology, I read technology, sounded good. Okay, I, yeah, so it sounded like Sound fine. it's fine, reasonably accurate. So it's very, very largely redundant mm -hmm. to last year, but no, not a lot has changed, you know, other than we are, I think, somewhere I think I put in about the technology fund. Oh, it might have been in the bullets. It's no, it's in there with voter approval. Select board establish a technology plan. Yeah, it might have been in there last year too. I don't. No, I, I put that you in, put today. in today. Okay, um, and then emergency services. Has somebody read that? Yes, I did. Okay, sounds okay. I read it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know if there was more we could say. I don't think there. No, are. I think it's good. Oh, I added that bit about we <laughs> we uh, hope to establish a program for honorariums for callous residents. Blah blah. Okay, so you're using the word honorarium. Yep, I put that in. Um, okay, I'm going to take out that note that this piece, the rose piece, came from Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, she I just cleaned it up, up a little bit. Yeah. Mentions the crew. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. John wrote a section about legal issues. Our legal issues. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that um, was a good one too. And then we are thanking everybody and signing off and saying that we are here for you. We are always here for them, always. So I think it looks good. Oh, Barbara Butler left. Yeah, yeah. I went to the bathroom, she left. Yeah. So Did you happens. keep her going to the bathroom? She was good. She left on. All right, so we're in good shape on this, right? Yep. We, yeah, we're good. Um, we just need to take out the draft at the bottom. Well, I need to update numbers on the pie. Okay. Which is quick. There is, FYI, everybody, I moved it up from last year. Just because we're all still going to be around. Um, there is a pie chart spreadsheet that's in the folder that has a different tab for every year. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is update numbers. Yeah. Right. Just FYI. Really? If you have, maybe you want to borrow it for something else you, have, you do in your world. So you change the numbers and, and the thing adjusts automatically? Yes. How do you do that? That's, that's very so clever. Not there in the spreadsheet. You have to do it in Excel. Oh, oh I, see, I see, I see, I see. Yes, I'm gonna, I need a lesson on all this. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's great for um, It's a great function. Okay, so are we ready to pass? Um, I will accept a motion to approve the select board report with the minor tweaks left to do that Sharon and Denise will make. So oh. moved. Okay, I'll Sorry. Second. There we go. Okay, okay. so this is the SB report. Um, who seconded it? John. John. Oh, I thought you did. Thanks. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 You guys were getting stuff done. Uh, okay, what else do we have to do? Review select board timeline items and no, timeline. We're done. We're done? <sighs> we're done. We missed Barbara's deadline, not by a little bit, but okay. yay. I think she'll Sorry, forgive Barbara. us. Sorry, Barbara. I'm sure, she, I think she'll forgive us. She seemed forgiving. I'm happy about that. Yeah. It's, it's, <coughs> it feels good to have moved through this. And this, I actually feel good about this. A couple weeks ago I didn't. Now I do. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I think we need to go back into executive. Oh, wait, no, before we do, there's one thing I should have made this update earlier. Um, I got an email from Stephanie today. So, let me just remind Stephanie everyone. Kaplan. Stephanie Kaplan, yes, chair of the Conservation Commission. It's been carried, not on this version. I asked Denise, to, you know, let's take off all that tail because we got to go through and clean it all up. But it's yeah. been on here that the Conservation Commission was working on the curb cut ordinance, and they actually were. Oh, good. Yep. And she met with Joe um, Mc. McLean. 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 our attorney. Yes. yes. McLean. Yes. There's another attorney and. There is another attorney, McNeil and, or something. And he said it happens all the time. Um, so she connected with Joe to figure out 
what of what they wanted to propose is actually statutorily acceptable in the context of a court, uh, curb cut ordinance. So the, the concept, and I love this, is they want to, it's what we always wanted, you know, integrating our road stuff with our environmental stewardship. And so they have taken the lead, the Conservation Great. Commission, Good. I'm reviewing the, this was when we had that curb cut ordinance that we were going to update with the yeah. form, et cetera. And Stephanie said, hang on, we have some ideas. So she's been working on it, the, the group has, um, and Joe has gone through it with her around what is, you know, legally acceptable to build in through quote curb cut ordinance. So she wants to bring to this board a proposal from the CC? the conservation commission. So I just want to put that out there because she's gonna do it on the twenty on the twenty third. I don't know. I haven't even. I got this at like you know four thirty or four five thirty. Okay. So I haven't even said you know what's your timing because we're you know you she, but she knows what she's asking. She's asking mm -hmm. for a really quick turnaround. But I want to make you aware because I think yeah, that's yeah, exciting. That's great. It's that's exciting. Good. Um, and, Very good. good for them. And they did all the work. Um, all right, so there's, I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Okay, so then we need a motion. To, is it, does anybody else have news to share? Mm -hmm. No. no? Okay. Can you forward that email to I'd be happy to. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I got it like literally as I was printing the okay. stuff for tonight. Good to read. Um, so, and I don't have the document. She just put it on my radar that they're going to want to come. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, so we need a motion to go back into executive session. Do we, do we need to, oh, not yet. We're going, we're right. Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. I would like a motion to go into executive session to, um, to discuss um, the appointment of a public officer or employee under 1 BSA 313A. Okay, wait a minute, what time is it? It is 7.51. 751. Okay, be, and this should is, be brief, right? This should be brief. So Jeremy yeah. should stick around. Should be brief if you want. Not Jeremy, I'm sorry. Jerome. 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 Okay, which one of those Jerry's? Which one are we going in under? One, oh, one, appointment of a public officer. One VSA. 313A3. Did we get a motion? Three, yeah. A Rick, Rick Rick did you second? I'll second that. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Is there anything to report for the um, minutes? Uh, Gerald, do you have your camera on? Okay. Yeah. So um, we went into executive session to under one three we came three, out. eight three and we came out at seven fifty five. Um, and we wanted to ask Denise whether she was willing to be appointed to serve in her vacancy, uh, which begins the vacancy begins tonight with your announcement earlier. And Denise said that she is willing to serve until an election can be held. An election can be held and will be held um, actually in March. So that's a great opportunity for somebody to be elected to finish out Denise's term, which is one more year of the three year term. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, and Denise, thank you. I think this, I love this model where people who are are transitioning out, um, plan well, and allow us to appoint them because the voters have already selected you to serve. And that spares us the, both the work and the drama and the politics of appointing somebody, creating what I refer to as a bias of incumbency, and then the, all of the question around when should an election be held? Should, do we, you know, and Montpelier, they considered holding an election even before March wow. to fill um, the mayor's seat and the council seat. Wow. So people take that opportunity for the public to elect really seriously. And I think um, this is good. This is good that you're willing to serve. Thank you. And um, so I think we need a motion to appoint Denise to serve in the vacant seat. I will proudly move that. Thank you, John. That would be through the end of town meeting. 2023. Until whenever that happens. Until the until the until election. Somebody can be new is sworn in, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Properly mm -hmm. sworn. <laughs> and I'm going to abstain from voting. Okay. So is there a second on John's motion? So it's a motion to to point Denise into the position she just vacated tonight, mm -hmm. and she will remain in that position as an appointee until a new individual is elected into that position, or at very least the end of town meeting if no one's elected. Um, That's then, right. And then there's, mm -hmm. uh, we don't know. Right. right. I'll second so, that. 
Okay, so there's a second. Uh, any other discussion or comments? Denise, thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And Denise, you'll let the record review. And just for clarification, um, this the select board has done this twice Stained. before. Stained. The yeah, last Stained, yeah. couple weeks, I guess, uh, when both myself and both I and Mark Mahali, two select board members, resigned their spots uh, in the midst of their term. Um, and so we were re both reappointed by the select or appointed by the select board under the same premise. And, uh, so to serve in the vacancy. Serve in the vacancy. And we will um, post the vacancy um, so that everybody is aware of this opportunity to run. Barbara's also going to be posting. She'll post it? She's posting. She's going to repost everything. And we just and need to make sure it's... And it's, and it's and it's this is going to be included. Okay. And what she posts on Front Porch. Front. <coughs> Great. I, Jim had that form to use. I don't know if it Jim. matters. Remember when we had to do this when Judy resigned? Oh. There was a special form. Like it's supposed to hang up in the town office and whatever. Is that the 10-day thing? We have to do it within 10 days? We have to announce the vacancy within 10 days. So we could... And we are allowed to appoint before we've announced the vacancy. The purpose of announcing the vacancy is, is that somebody can run in the election. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate thank you, you Denise. Thank, thank you for your vote of confidence. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited for you. I feel excited for you. Thank you. It's a great, it's an exciting development. An opportunity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I we, think our meeting is adjourned. Is there a motion to adjourn? I would move that we adjourn. Is it, is, is it like 8.03 or something? 8.02. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Straight up. 8 o'clock straight up. Did you make the motion? I move. Do you want to do a second? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Awesome.